Today, I'm gonna to be making some triple decker brownies. You only need three ingredients, then the additional ingredients that your brownies require. I picked Ghirardelli triple fudge brownies and it requires a fourth a cup of oil, a fourth a cup of water and one egg so depending on which brownie mix you use that'll depend on these other side ingredients your main ingredients though are a package of the Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies I bought the one pound 14 ounce uh, package. I don't know if I'll use all this or not. We'll see. I bought a, a package of Oreo cookies and then of course the Ghirardelli triple fudge brownies that I already showed you. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you want to take a 9 by 9 inch pan. We call this our brownie pan and you want to line it with parchment paper. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your um, chocolate chip cookies and I never have been um, good at opening this. I should have gotten a cutting board out. There we go. And if any of this is left over, then I'm sure a Ashley will like to nibble on it. Or I can make some cookies out of it, you know? So, you're supposed to take this and you press it into the bottom of this pan. So I'm just gonna break off a chunk of it, and I don't know how hard it's gonna be. So far, it's not bad. This came straight out of the refrigerator, and I'm just gonna take my fist, and I'm gonna keep pressing this into all four corners and then in the middle. I have left uh, so I would recommend buying that big uh, tube and I just make uh, make a couple of cookies if you want that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, form those into cookies and I'll put those in the oven I'm gonna clean my hands off and I'll be back now you want to take your Oreo cookies and grab a bunch of them and lay them right across the top and you do uh, you do not want to overlap the cookies so I am pressing them down just a little bit into that dough but we'll see at the end how many I can get in here I, I would like to maybe break one apart and put it in that corner that I didn't get over here. I used two rows, but there was one extra. So you're gonna have a row and one cookie left over. That's okay. My family loves Oreos. So set this to the side. And now we're going to uh, just, you're gonna prepare the brownies uh, like you always would. You're gonna, uh, Oh, well this one comes, <laughs> this one comes with fudge and chips. I'm not going to make it with the fudge and chips. I think, let me see something real quick. Oh, and fudge pouch. Okay, I am going to make it with the fudge pouch then. I was going to say, I'm not going to use the fudge pouch if it was like an extra like glaze on top, but it's not. It actually goes in here as well. So you're going to do your water and your oil and your egg and then your fudge pouch and you stir. going to add this fudge pouch. If you had bought another, uh, in any other brand, I'm sure it wouldn't have come with something like this, but that's okay. I mean, it's not going to affect um, the triple decker brownies at all. If anything, it's going to make them better. Get your pan over here, and this is going to be your third layer, making your triple decker. And you pour this right over the top, evenly. Okay. 
I'll smooth it out once I get it out of the bowl. And then you are going to let this bake for 35 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. These were actually in the oven for 40 minutes. I checked them at 35 with a toothpick and uh, it was had liquid on it. So I left it in for 40 minutes and um, I'm going to take them out. I have not checked it with a toothpick. It might, um, if I did, it might come off with a little, um, a little liquidy, but I would rather take them out now at 40 minutes than leave them in any longer and it burn the sides or something like that. Because if you leave them in too long, you know, then the sides will start to get really, really hard. So what I, what you want to do right now is let them cool completely. So I'm going to let them sit here for at least a half an hour, I'm sure. And uh, then we'll be back to cut them. So these have been cooling for hours. <laughs> and I'm, look, that pulled right out of that pan. That was nice. So let's see how this looks. That looks really cool from the side. Mm -hmm. Now, let me cut it. Okay, now let's see what it looks like from the side. Oh wow, that looks delicious. Let me show you. That's how it looks. So, Kevin and I will get this on a plate and we will try one now. So this recipe, it, it just all depends on how you cut them, how many you're gonna get, of course. You could make these bigger. I made these smaller because they look like they're, they have so much going on. They look like they would be very rich. The brown is so gooey. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Most neat is the that Oreo. Is delicious. The Oreo softened up in the oven. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're buying the hard cookie. It's a soft, just mm -hmm. chocolate. But you can still taste it in there, which is just funny. All in my mouth. Those are two biter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I could have left it in the oven probably another two or three minutes. If you left them in there, that's my oven though. If you left them in there for about 43 minutes, um, it's supposed to be like 35, but I, like I said, I left mine for 40. And I think if I had gone a little bit longer, it wouldn't have been as gooey and like on get all over your fingers. <laughs> I left mine off. Um, it wouldn't get all over your fingers and be as gooey, but now I like it like that because really you could cut them bigger and just eat it with a fork. Don't yeah. eat it with your fingers yeah. like we did. You actually use a fork. Which is what I would normally do anyway. Yeah, so those are absolutely delicious. They're really good. So simple. That recipe was so easy. Mm -hmm. I hope you all tried. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.